The Lord be with you my friends. Today is 7th June, the 8th novena day of St Anthony. The first reading of the day is taken from 2nd Corinthians chapter 1 verses 1 to 7 and the gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 12. My dear brothers and sisters, the following days you will be re- reading the first reading from 2nd Corinthians. So let's get acquainted a little bit about this letter. About 54 to 57 AD when Paul left Ephesus and came to Macedonia Titus arrived from Corinth and gave Paul the good news that his first letter was received with joy Yet there were some leaders in the Corinthian church who were questioning Paul's apostolic authority It was at this time that Paul wrote his second letter to the Corinthian church He gave it to Titus to hand deliver and he would follow soon after the message of paul in his second letter to the corinthians is twofold a to defend his authority as an apostle of jesus christ b god providing strength and comfort in our weakness in our physical sufferings let's reflect on this comfort of god a little bit there is no comfort apart from god he is the god of all comfort if i am getting comforted or if i'm giving comfort to others god is there because he is a source of all comfort now here is the key understanding i can understand god comforting us when people attack us gossip about us or spoil our reputation it seems natural to comfort others in such cases i can understand god comforting us when our own family members persecute us trouble us abuse us fight with us cause us pain file court cases against us it seems natural to comfort someone who is being treated so poorly by their family what i cannot understand is god comforting us when the troubles we are dealing with are of our own making people don't like to comfort us when we create problems for our own selves they even say he got himself into this mess now let him get out from this mess But as I read my Bible what I see is that God came to the comfort of those who had created their own problems. So take courage my friend even in your mistakes God comforts you. The gospel of the day speaks about eight beatitudes. One of the most famous passages in scripture not only to the Christian but also to the secular world is Jesus' sermon on the mount. These teachings were not just for the people sitting on the mountain side with him that day but were for all mankind all time. You see the world has very different ideas about what it means to be blessed. They think blessings can only be measured by worldly possessions. They say that blessings aren't from God but come from either good luck or from their hard work. Now pulpit commentary gives us the meaning of the word blessed in its discussion of the beatitudes it says the world is wrong good fortune is not blessedness blessedness is a gift of god what he gives cannot be taken away by the chances and changes of this mortal life blessedness is not an outward ornament of life it is man's own for god has given it it is the heart wrought into the inner being it is holy spiritual and heavenly it is the character the privilege of the children of the kingdom for they must bear the image of their king so my dear brothers and sisters blessings are not obtained through worldly means they are not from yourself and you can't gain them by lying cheating and stealing true blessings are given by god to be blessed means to be favored by god i repeat to be blessed means to be favored by god we as christians are favored by the lord the way in which god chooses to bless us may include material possessions things of this world but the most important blessings are spiritual that is inner peace in times of trouble inner joy in times of persecution inner satisfaction in times of death or death without regret these are true blessings So let's now reflect more on the eight beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Do you realize that without Jesus and without God you are nothing? 
Your power, your money, your position, your fame means nothing. Blessed are those who mourn. Those people who are poor in spirit mourn because of their sins. God blesses them with comfort by forgiving their sins. This is what St. Anthony preached. Do you mourn because of your sins? Blessed are the meek. When we have been forgiven of our sins, we don't act like we are better than the sinners around us. We stay humble before the Lord and before others. Do you practice meekness in your day-to-day -day life? Blessed are those who hunger. Those who hunger and thirst for righteousness are seeking the ways of God. Are you one of them? Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. God blesses those who show mercy. Are you quick to forgive? Blessed are the pure in heart. Our heart becomes purer the more we concern ourselves with the things of God. St. Anthony's heart was so pure that baby Jesus danced in his arms. Is your heart pure? Blessed are the peacemakers. When we act as peacemakers, God calls us his sons. St. Anthony chose to join to be a follower of the man of peace in France of Assisi. Do you keep company of peaceful persons or violent, abusive people? Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. It is possible that all of us will be persecuted for the faith some day or the other. It happens on a daily basis in some parts of the world. However, we are blessed because our willingness to suffer for the name of Jesus leads to our heavenly reward. Remember what Jesus said, If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before you. If you were, the, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. My dear brothers and sisters, we are truly blessed as Christians. The world may have messed up ideas about what it means to be blessed, but we know that we are truly blessed in Jesus' name. So with the joy in our hearts, let's now pray the eighth day Novena prayer of St. Anthony. Hail St. Anthony, flower of purity and the joy of Christianity. I believe in you, O angel of wisdom and divine love. And I rejoice because God has filled you with so many gifts, gifts of humility, mercy, and the gift of performing miracles. With great hope and humility, I ask you to intercede on my behalf, a poor sinner. I ask you in all urgency, you may mention your request here. I pray for the love of child Jesus, who played in your arms so many times. O refuge of those in trouble, you know very well how much I need this gift, which I ask in your holy name. Amen. St. Anthony, pray for us. St. Anthony, heal all the sick and comfort the depressed. St. Anthony, bless and protect all the orphans, especially those who have become orphans due to COVID-19. St. Anthony, bless all the families that are taking care of sick people in their houses. St. Anthony, bless all the generous people who are silently sacrificing their time and money and energy to help those in need. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.